Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial from Smart Code. In this tutorial, we are going to develop a simple color changer, or you can call it color picker, using C Sharps and Window Form. We have a screen to show the colors generated by the RGB values, and we are specifying the RGB values using three different scroll bars: one for red, one for green, and one for blue. As you can see. And in this portion, I'm using table layout panel for better alignment. So we will develop this project together, step by step. I'm going to explain all the stages. To start, open a new Windows Form project. You can call it color picker. We can start with the form, adjust some properties, size 450 into 400, and title. It looks good. Now drag a panel control. That would be our screen. Okay, you can call it color screen. And, uh, and change border style to pick 3D. Now it looks like a screen. Now we need a table layout panel. So drag table layout panel here. We need three columns, three rows. Now adjust the size. I'll drag a label. Set the properties. This is for red text alignment and back color. You can even change the back color of the form if you want. Like this. And now dock the label to fill. Now drag another label. Place it here. You can copy and paste if you want. Okay, so now just set the properties. Green. Choose a green color and dot property. So, okay. This one is for blue. So, choose a back color blue. Dot it to fill. Okay, and these three labels on the right we are going to use to display the values of red, blue, and green. I'm going to use them in the code so you can call it LBL red value. You can choose a back color if you want. Dark, fill, and text alignment, middle center. We don't need any text. Select this one. Okay. 
Not the last one. Now we need horizontal scroll bars. Now you can copy and paste and paste. Search some properties. Dark. Fill. And lastly, we need a button to close the application. Take a button from the toolbar. You can call it button close. Now we are going to set a scroll bar properties, but I want you to take a look at the method we are going to use the method name is from argb it belongs to a color class in c -sharp, the method is overloaded four times as you can see here and we are going to use this version this method uses rgb color model system and creates a color when we specify the values for red green and blue in rgb color model Red, green, and blue can be combined in different proportions to create a new color. And in computer system, we define proportion of every component using the numeric values. And the value values for each component is 0 to 255 as the system is 8-bit color system. For example, you can define a red proportion by choosing any value from this range and green from this range and blue from this range and the system is gonna generate a color you can check it here like I'm specifying 200 for red almost 100 for green and 50 for blue. So the system is creating this color by combining different proportions of red, green, and blue. Okay? So these are the valid ranges and we are gonna bind our scroll bars to that range. Scroll bar has minimum and maximum property. Okay, so we define a range using these two properties. And choosing our first scroll bar and the range would be from 0 and maximum would be 255 now we have specified the range two more properties we need to check here is a small chain property and it's already set to 1 and setting it to 1 means this small box is gonna move forward and backward by one value when we click the scroll arrows Okay, another property that we need to set to 1 is large change and that means whenever you click inside the scroll bar, this small box is going to move forward or backward by one value. Okay, now we will set the other one, I specified the range, minimum, maximum would be 255 and large range would be 1. The third one. Okay, so now our interface is ready. We are good to go ahead. Double click somewhere on your form to generate a form load event. And here we are going to perform some tasks. We will initialize the initial values here in the form load event. I think we didn't change the name of our scroll bars. Okay, it's good to have good names. Like the first one is red scroll bar, and the second one 
you can call it green scroll bar okay now everything looks good we can program that is scroll bar dot value so we are assigning a sort of value to our scroll bars So we're using the value property of scroll bars and assigning the initial value 128 and then we will read back these values and assign them to our labels we have on the right. Good, let's run the program and check the developments. Okay. So, you see, we have initial values, okay, and uh, we can see these values here. Okay, now we are gonna pass this value to form a RGB mapper, and the color created by the RGB system will be assigned to the, to the panel we have on the form. So our panel name is color screen dot back color. Now we're gonna call the method and pass the value of red, green, and blue. Okay, so we are passing the values to the method, and that method is going to generate a color that we are assigning to our panel screen that we have on the form. Let's run the program. And you see, the system has created a dark gray color by combining red, green, and blue. Now we are going to attach a scroll event to our scroll bars so that we can read the values from them at runtime so just select the first one properties go inside the event list and here we have a scroll event and that event fires when user moves the scroll box okay this scroll box so just double click here now attach the other one Now the last one. Okay, so whenever you change the value in the red scroll bar, this method fires itself, and whenever it fires itself, we want to update the screen. So we just need to copy and paste a similar code. Let's now run the program. And here you see the screen is responding. Okay. If you don't see the values here, what we're gonna do? Copy this one. And green. So green and blue. So this one. Okay. We are reading the current value as user moves the box and then assigning that value to the form AIGB method to create a new color and then assigning the numeric value 
to the label box. Let's run the program. And now here you see it's working. And one last thing is to program the close button. You need to register the button first. Double click on the button. And here we will write only this dot close. Okay. Just gonna close the application. So everything is working fine. I hope you liked the tutorial. Thanks for watching.